Comfort, over to you. Maybe you can start with the invisible bra, then you go. <laughs> over to you. <laughs> the new man. Gender has been defined as either of the two sexes, male and female, especially when considered with reference to social and cultural differences rather than biological ones. With the gender inequality movement, gender is normally spoken of in that context. So consciously, we only think about the word referencing women. It has been a long road to get to this point where women are being treated slightly better and not discriminated against based on their gender. While a lot more work begs to be done, another inequality is looming. A couple of days ago, while at lunch with a colleague, a person passed by wearing a t-shirt with the inscription that referred to the well-being of mother and child. In a burst of emotion, he asked, everything is about women and children. Who is looking after the welfare of men? Initially, I found him incredulous and dismissed him. I pointed out that the world system is generally the construct of men and his gender benefits largely from it to the detriment of women. He said quietly, all day long, I'm on the streets hustling to make sure that the women and children in my house are provided for and safe. No one cares to ask me how I'm faring. He argued that men take part in numbing activities which are harmful to them. And even though they know that it is harmful, they indulge in it to keep themselves sane. I wasn't convinced about his argument, but he made a good one. We have a generation of empowered, independent, educated women who are a handful for men. The men are not being equipped to interact successfully with the new improved woman. With most brought up with the old time um, training and others having their masculinity diminished, an emphasis being placed on them to keep in touch with their feminine side while finding all forms of expression. Is the man fast becoming an indigenous species? There is so much focus on the female that we're in danger of sidelining, emasculating, and diminishing the man. The point is, while it is necessary to correct the wrongs that a male-dominated world inflicted on the female, we're in danger of turning the tables leading to a female-denominated world and men who don't know how to handle this new state of affairs. We need two things to become front and center alongside the movement, human equality and balance. I cannot emphasize the need for deliberate training of the boy child that while he maintains his masculinity, he expresses it with the awareness of his female compatriots and that they are first human beings. The female recognizes her newfound expression of being, but in a human equal world, she cannot cry wolf and, expect to and is expected to shoulder her responsibilities squarely without relying on her gender as a means to an end. Wow. This is this so, is <laughs> this is my interest. Anyway, um, comfort you personally. I tell people I'm a male feminist, and then let me say this: feminism, gender equality is not. People see it from the perspective of oh, gender. Everything is talking about women. Gender equality is about the equality of both sexes. That's what it's supposed to. Be. That's what it is. But people mm -hmm. actually flip it, and it's a woman thing. That is that's why what I'm saying. That's <laughs> what it's supposed to be. But we're no longer applying I, it in that way. I, 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 me, not me. Anyway, let me exempt myself. <laughs> because I'm conscious about that. Mm. The, the sexes should be equal. You use the principle of equity to achieve equality. Now, I want to give you some rhetorics. And which guy would I want you to respond specifically. I was in a vehicle traveling somewhere. And during the 2019 election, uh, two women were contesting for president before they actually stepped down. And the men were con having conversation. Why will a woman want to become president? I was surprised. What if she becomes pregnant? That is one. Number two, I had the opportunity of interacting with a family friend who has only daughters. One of the daughters wanted to study law. She, he discouraged the daughter for reading law. Why? Because he said the law, the, the, that profession is too risky for a woman. And maybe you study it. If your husband permits you to work, you can work. Why will you train your child to build a life around a man, a girl? Number three, I can go on and on and on. But number three is, why we try to build the woman just like what she said we're empowering them with the necessary skill to contribute to the world development as human they are we are not empowering the boy child or the men with the right mindset to deal with the women 
there was a situation of a man saying that his wife would not go for a master's degree because it diminishes his masculinity. How can that be? So I leave that for you to respond, Mr. Kaudi. Well, when it comes to gender balance, um, I always say one thing that I'm, I'm, I'm a part of uh, so many, or not so many, one or two associations where you fight for women empowerment and stuff. Um, the Kofi Annan Institute of, uh, um, Kofi Annan Peacekeeping Institute, the Women Peace and Security Institute uh, angle. Um, I'm a member of the uh, communications network in Accra, Ghana, and a couple of others like that. But you see, the truth I always say is this, that while we're doing all this work for women, let us make sure that we, we're we very specific and intentional with the words we use. A lot of times we muddle things up. A lot of times we just confuse the entire sphere. And I would even like to extend it beyond the rhetoric of male and female. Now, because of the approach we have to this, that is why it's breaking down the fabric of the society to the extent that we are, we are, we are giving too much laxity to the gender. Just last week, the U.S. approved the first passport for a third gender, which is X, X. was That's issued. Really it's because of all this thing for no, everybody's selfless. If we want to fight for women, which I dare say, way back when it started, it was necessary. Because you find people like what he said, the man said, I always tell people that there is no way I'll send my daughter to study medicine seven years. Then a man will say, don't work. What are you talking about? So all the years she spent in university, you know, is for what? <laughs> Just to prove money. that she has it. It's not you. So, and, and all that comes to play. But we, like, right, like Comfort rightly said, there are so many things that are happening around gender that we're not correcting. We're giving so much power to the woman, which is not wrong. We need to enlighten the men rather than the women. We need to enlighten the men to let them know that women have the right to do whatever they want to do in a society. But not to the extent that, for example, you say, okay, um, there's, there's one complexity that when it comes to gender, uh, before I allow uh, the lack of coming, we say, okay, um, we have the same rights. We all go to the markets. We all go to the field. We all do things equally, which is right. But you see, the approach we give to it makes it look like we are of the same strength. So now when you get to the market space and the man is also hustling with the woman, they say, ah, ah you are a man now, let her go. When we are communicating, we need to balance it. That what we are saying is we have the same rights, but, exactly. but the approach and the strength and the physicality, some of these things are different. But as for the rights to do, achieve what you are achieving, you go into medical school. She has the right to go to medical school. She has the right to do this. She has the right to decide on. But, but the way we put it, a lot of times, make it look like when you say, "Oh, she's a lady," now give her a chance. Yeah. But it's equal, gender uh, balance, uh, equity, make we all, equality. Uh -huh. equity and, and those equality. are the things you don't specify. Well, yeah. I get, but personally, yeah. I, I make it intentional. When I speak, I say equality to opportunities, law, social justice. That is but what equity, it should be. Equity to achieve equality. So, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I get equity over equality. I think um, I empathize with the um, man mm. that comfort me about like him being on the road hustling and nobody asking him how he's faring yeah. and they say i empathize with that man i have three younger brothers and my dad and i empathize with them because i see how they go out mm -hmm. to hustle but the truth is again i'm going to speak on this part of the world because this is a part of the world yeah, where i we stay mm -hmm. where we are um gender equality is still so much um, behind. We are still very behind on it, on the girl child having power and having, until you see women or girl child in positions of power. Which is already a, happening. Which, is it really at happening? Is no, at okay. the no, very, okay. you know, when, when we say at a slow pace, pace this, okay, this is what I, this is what media, I ask. Sorry, before you come in, before you continue, this is when we say at a slow pace, I always say, in Nigeria today, I haven't seen any posts that women haven't aspired for, except for presidency, mm -hmm. and they haven't got there. And it's not because they are women. Mm -hmm. It's because the way our politics is even formed. Even the youth cannot have a space. Mm -hmm. Even of so course, many qualified yeah, men course, cannot have a space. Course, so it's know. not about gender, per se. And that's but that's still a little about, factor. That's no, but no, but, that's that's no factor. but it's all about... But anyway, let me not take more of time. You go ahead and let's see. So I'm saying, until, um, until we have women in key Position. positions and... Um, and giving opportunities to more women, mm. that's when we come out and say, like, 
Should we stop um, with the old female, female, let's start including men. I'm okay like we including men. Mm. But the old gender and t saying let's fight for women, let's fight for girls, mm. we still have to keep doing that. We still have to keep pushing that. But, but look, because we haven't opened, let me tell you what mm. we've done. We've spoken about it because the world, there was a time where there was Me Too and that mm. really brought yeah, exactly. this in on yeah. um, this in. And then, you know, in Nigeria, we piggybacked on that for media and mm. this. And then you see organizations saying girl first. And it's all surface level. It's it not. It should be strategic. No, no, it should be no, strategic. But, but, like, there should it, be an to, to a large extent, I disagree. It should be an you know, you, know why, you know why I disagree to a large extent? Even look at America today. Mm -hmm. When Hillary Clinton lost. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest comments that came was that a lot of the white folks, pure white Americans, were not ready for a female president. Of no, course, hold on, hold on. Exactly. Like so that, that's what I'm saying. That's when we say, so we say so oh, our so so continue. I remember when Theresa May was still the prime minister yeah. of, of UK. UK. She made a statement. There was a woman celebration that we were doing. I think World well, International Women's Day of Stop. And she talked about how women were still lagging behind. Of course. In the UK. So that's, I just want to bring that up. I just want to bring that up. It's not about, it's about, it's a global <laughs> thing. I, however, I, however, you see, when it comes to this women issue, I, I have, um, you see, we create a lot of room and we talk a lot about women. And that's why I say in our climate time, it's as if we, I'm saying we the women, at times we're confused because listen, you create, we so, talk so highly about women rights, which is needed, right? However, you, know, you see the women themselves underplaying themselves. What do I mean? Let's take music videos, for example. Mm. You, you know, women themselves now agree to go into nudity. No. Exactly. You get it. So <laughs> while, while you're saying women empowerment, I expect women to be saying no. I'm not just going to be like your Why sex slave in the movie. You two put those are the things that we like. I, I see places like <laughs> the lack of respect. The lack of respect. There isn't much time. Let that respond. 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 Let terms of how they respond to the old time woman or even the new time woman yeah. so bottom line human equality we need to bring both of the genders you know up to speed with what the realities are so right. up next is felix stay tuned